And then I put olive oil right to the edges. That to me is a bruschetta. Figs, 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 you saw them. And it's nothing simpler. There's nothing simpler ever if you've got these beautiful ripe figs. But I thought I would do a bruschetta. Now, because then I'm showing you two things at once. Everyone knows how to do a bruschetta, I know. But my way is to do it with stale sourdough bread on a griller. And I have a fantastic little Japanese griller that is so beautiful and you can't buy them in Australia as far as I know. And I take um, an Australian garlic, of course, um, cut one clove in half, and I love to put garlic on, it must be done while it's hot. And then I put olive oil right to the edges. That to me is a bruschetta. I'm going to pull apart a fresh ball of mozzarella. Always pull apart rather than cut for me. I'm going to carve these figs. I take the bottom and the top off and I want them really nice and luscious. Um, they're very, they're right, they're perfect picking. So, if you are doing something like this and your fig isn't quite ripe enough, this is what is the magic ingredient, vinocotto, a thimbleful of the vinocotto. It's about like putting vinocotto over strawberries and it brings out their flavour if they're not ripe. But I need some salt. I need some torn mozzarella and I need a bed of rocket and I need a drizzle of extra virgin olive oil. Oh, some on there as well. There's lunch or dinner.